there is this typical fear that black women here in Germany have of dating black men and I wasn't exempt at that time I think we have broken up I don't know how many times a hundred times up. you know what this this is not working yeah. by being a dad here in Germany means how do you speak about being a dad? You're a dad. You guys usually ask me a lot where I get my earrings from and I think whenever I come on here I'm going to be mentioning where I got the earrings that I'm wearing from but these ones are so many years old and I bought these in the USA at the at one Aldo Aldo shoe shop yeah so you can I, I actually checked out where you can get Aldo earrings from and Salando is your friend you guys check Salando online they have really cute earrings from Aldo so <laughs> um, parara. No, no. Um. No, no. seriously <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha and this is my beauty and lifestyle channel and family too. Uh, so you guys, uh, I asked you guys to ask me questions and there were some curious people who wanted to see Jay back on my channel doing a sit down. So here he is. Your wish is my command. So here he is. Hi guys, I'm Your the <laughs> He is the J. So, uh, in case you're not following me on Instagram, uh, I'm gonna leave my handle right here for you guys, so you can follow me there and never miss out on any of the Q and A's that we do. So you can also drop your question. So you guys, oh my God, you sent so many questions. Saki watu ni wafani kai. Wow, is it wow? Alright, um, these two. Fish out. They were, there were definitely a lot of repetitive questions. Here we are, here are the questions. And there was also another, another, okay, a lot. So we have to start before this video gets too long. So the first and most repetitive question was how we met. We have tackled this question again before but that was like years back when we were just parents of Jazzy and um, so many of our new followers and subscribers might not know this thanks oh my god oh my god ours is a pretty easy story of how we met it's like not complicated or out of ordinary yeah we met in in Munich, <laughs> yeah, we met, we met each other in the college, right? We met each other in class. We in were class. classmates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were classmates in college. So we both were in the nursing college and we were classmates. We started off as friends. Actually, before that, he was in a relationship. I was in a relationship. What? Yeah, yeah I'm listening. <laughs> yeah. You were? I was, yeah. Yeah. So he was in a, we both were in relationships mm -hmm. uh, with natives, <laughs> German natives. And me that time I was single, you know. I, were you though? I was so much single. You were single but still in entangleships. Not entangleships. With her. With who? Your ex. You were just friends. I passed we hear of this. Yeah, you were just friends, nothing else. According to you. According to me, yeah. According to her, I don't know about her. But well, you know, though. Yeah, me, I was single. Yeah. So anyway, that was that, and so we were friends and stuff. Used to hang out a lot. Also, yeah, you know how friends are. You know, sometimes we don't talk. Sometimes we we are good friends. We hang out sometimes. Sometimes we're mad at at each other. We mm. ignore each other for a whole entire week in class. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then at the end of our college both of us were 
truly single and that's and then it's, we started hooking up so yes so we start the, our relationship started off when we were almost done with college but we had been friends since the first year so our friendship did not heat off immediately according to him he was checking me out what but i was not there i was not about that life like i said i was in a relationship but then after uh plus at that time i had this fear of dating black men there's this typical fear that black women here in germany have of dating black men and i wasn't exempt at that time but i mean it's been years and we are still going strong yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> I mean there's, there's a lot of details here and there that obviously have been in in our relationship it's been the years sure I mean it's since 2015 you guys Yeah uh it's been a whole 15 no Yes han that's mm. what no, Okay so. end of 2014 true Yeah end of 2014 because mm. that's yeah Yeah okay Yeah Yeah it's end, end of, of 2014 then we were done with college March of 2015 yeah. yeah so it has been a whole up and down you guys up and oh my gosh but here we are <laughs> after two kids and still we are strong mm -hmm. do you plan to have a white wedding inshallah yes we do how do you keep the romance burning with two babies Yeah, we try to find to find time for each other mostly when the kids are at, at daycare or kindergarten mm -hmm. and when maybe they're sleeping that's our time oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah because yeah. eh, uh, most of the time when they're sleeping to be honest truth be told unless we had planned prior we are so tired that we either watch a film or we sleep yeah. But um or, or everybody takes his own bit time, you know. Or yes, or everybody does his thing. Jay watches a lot of football. I personally either watch Netflix, I or, or I do my nails or I I don't know, edit a video if I'm still or you spend hours in the bathtub. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I love me. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, but yeah. basically we plan we literally have to plan if we don't plan i swear we are going to waste a whole day um or rather uh, waste a lot of time that we could have used to plan time together so we actually plan when we know that maybe uh, we have a, a free day together we we plan that we're going to do something together we're going to do this together that's how we um we make sure that we spend a lot of time together because Having two kids means you are constantly busy when the kids are around. So that when the kids go to daycare because we do not have nannies at home, you know, people who come to, to like um you know like people we can just leave our kids with and then go for a night date. So we have a lot of day day, day dates. So when he's off work, um off work, uh then we plan a date. Yeah, lots of planning you guys, lots of planning, uh, being intentional. You know because if you don't be intentional about it it will you just you hey you will be you you're going to be housemates you're gonna be kumpen brother sister i swear you're just going to be existing in the same house just functioning 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 and no romance yeah they are also like gifting each other um things that we love Yeah. You know, if I know if I find something that I know will make him happy then I do gift him or even if it's not gifting maybe I feel like oh let me just cook Jay's favorite meal things like that doing something special that I know will make him happy or him doing something for me that he knows will make me happy yeah. you know yeah let you sleep, let you sleep long at the morning Uh, yeah, yeah i'm not a morning food. person yeah. so if he lets me sleep in that's amazing if he if he's home with the kids and i find like the house in order after the kids play 
that's you know my love language stuff like that mm. yeah knowing your partner's love language and yeah doing doing stuff to make your other person happy every now and then as much as possible so how many years have you and Jay been here in Germany hmm. I've been in Germany since 2008 Wow, that's yeah. a long time. Yeah. So I, I think most of you guys know how long I've been here. I've been in Germany since 2010, September. No, no, this is a long time. Yeah, yeah it really is. It, 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 yeah. yeah. Are you married? Huh? Are you married of dating? What the hell is that? Are you married? Or dating. or dating if married was it in Denmark or Germany mm. <laughs> you guys we are not yet officially married so that is something that is coming up in future and if we're going to get married it most likely will be in Kenya in Africa yes to be exact yeah. in, in, Anywhere else apart from Kenya? No, Kenya. Kenya. Yeah. So how do I come as a caregiver to, to Germany? For, through au pair, you know? It depends. Caregiver for who? If you want to give care to old people, then you have to apply for FSJ or BFD. Uh, if you want to be a caregiver for kids in a home, in a family, then as an au pair you know you have to specify but there's a lot of information um, I have lots of videos that do have dealt with this before but I'm going to try and link it in the description so just check it out my like my au pair videos and also check Miriam Mwangi on Instagram and YouTube she she does a lot of these videos as well all right um what do you do for a living I work as a nurse in a psychiatric hospital. What are you doing currently? I'm now doing uh, some kind of qualif uh, further of qualification to become a... A boss? No, a psychiatric nurse. Like, you know, there, there are many specialties in nursing. There's one for the, we call it normal hospitals. Yeah. And the psychiatric hospital. I just want to specialize mm -hmm. to, become, to become a psychiatric nurse, which is very, very interesting, you know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so for those who are in Germany, yeah, Fachweiterbildung. Fach, Fachweiterbildung, so, Fischer Tri. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then he, you have another course. Uh, I did other courses, yeah. That meaning that when you're done, that's high, then be to Pflege Expert. Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. But I don't want to become Pflege Expert. Yeah. But you're going to, that's yeah, going to be yeah, your. Theoretical, yeah description like yeah. job description once once yeah. you're done once i'm done yeah all right um, well, it's not it's not the end of the road you know no, it's not yeah you can still study after that exactly all right uh yes what challenges do you face as parents and partners in a foreign land Ooh. challenges wait the i feel like this is a whole video oh <laughs> this is a whole entire video do you want us to do this in a separate video? Because I feel like the, it's it's a big topic. Yes, yeah, a big topic, yeah. But, but you can measure some Yeah, we can. Things. First of all, you spoke about the nanny and uh, aunties, shoshos, and mm -hmm. brothers and sisters who are not with us at this place. So mostly, you know, we just have to, to balance, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, either you go to work and stay at home or the other way around, you know. Yeah. Because our kids are still young or small. Mm -hmm. They need us anytime, mm -hmm. so that that one is quite challenging, you know. But we manage, and we done good. Yeah, challenges. There's definitely the financial aspect of it. Mm. That when you, once you have kids, you, because we do not usually have house helps, uh, you have to sort of you can't go back to work a hundred percent. So sure. most of the time, uh, you find that moms have to work less. You know, so since I got kids uh, after Jazzy, I worked 50% at first because we also used to take care of her at home. Like we used to um, exchange, like when I'm at work, then Jay is home. So we used to take care of her at home still at up to a certain point. 
so I went back to work 50% now uh, when we got the second bone uh, we booked five days for him for daycare I went back to work 75% but I was all, only able to do that also because I got in a in a work I got in a work environment where it was more suitable for moms uh, you know starting 8 and ending at 4 p.m. so that was amazing I could be able to drop the kids and then Jay would pick the kids up after his um, morning shift so that was actually the reason why I, I, I could be able to work a little bit more than before because the 50% time after Jazzy I was working uh, you know all shifts I was doing morning I was doing afternoon I was doing night so I could not uh, work more than that. Yeah, that that one was quite quite uh, tricky or very hard to plan it, you know, because you know I cannot be like mm -hmm. uh, every time get a flu or morning shift when you're working the night or something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I used to do a lot of night shifts, uh, which was which worked. But um, since I got the second one, and I got the the tag clinic, you know, day clinic, uh, I got it was easier to plan. Yeah, right. So, um, but it's a struggle. It's a, so the financials, you know, you don't go back to work a hundred percent. Plus, you're paying for daycare. It's crazy, right? You're not earning as before. That's one challenge. There's other also the time aspect. You spend a lot of you. You really have me time. It's true. Yeah. You really have time to be you yourself, me, Martha. Jay himself really has that have that time you are constantly parent 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 um, and you can easily forget yourself or even get burnt out yeah. so there's that also the the social aspect of life um, if you had friends before who were not um, parents it's it's not easy to stay friends with them because you are at a different level of understanding things, right? So maybe your single friends or rather friends who don't have kids do not understand that you don't have as much time as you had before kids. And also those friends find it hard to hang out with you because let me just tell you the truth. After you get kids, a lot of your topics are about kids. That's that's that can't help it as a parent you are constantly talking about children and things about your children and other stuff that maybe people who don't have kids don't really can't really relate yeah missing home of course missing family all that homesickness yeah some homesickness of course well. mm -hmm. but you know <clears throat> What I can say is that, you know, uh, for me, the biggest challenge is that my kids, they only know us. Ah, oh, that's true. Yeah. Apart from that homesickness, they only know us. We are their Main father, mother. Everything. And they don't know nothing like, you know, Shosho or Guka yeah. or cousins. I miss that for them, to be that's honest. What, that's what yeah. it lacks. Because we, we grew up in big families. Mm -hmm. So to, to see my kids uh, not knowing some of, the, some of their family members, you know. It is quite a big challenge. Yeah, yeah it's it's really tricky because yeah. I miss that for them that you know parents are parents. Yeah, yeah. of course they are your they give you security, they find that they provide for you. But you know, having an auntie or your grandma there yeah. that used to like uh, you know pamper Some, you. Yeah, someone to spoil them. Oh yes. Yeah. I miss that for my kids, yeah. like a lot. And they miss that too because they see other kids. Yeah being picked up maybe from kindergarten or stuff by their grandmas, their grandpas yeah. and they are like, you know, like my friend has two grandmas and, and, I'm, and mine is not here, it's, yeah. it pains <laughs> somehow. Yeah. yeah. Guys, um, I know there are many parents who are going to watch this video who live abroad, so definitely mention down below what challenges um, you face the most being away from home you know just being a parent abroad but in a foreign land sure i'd like to make this video with one of our, fam of our friends yeah that's who, a good who also, idea. also have kids mm -hmm. or they have a kid and also work you know 
for sure. Yeah, so it's good. we're gonna make that video. It's gonna be a nice one. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So coping with career and family. I think we've mentioned this also. Yeah. Lot of lot of balancing, you know. Oh yeah. Oh God. Balancing between family life and your own personal life because, like we say, you don't have to, to forget about yourself. For sure. Yeah. You exist as you, as Martha, and exist as myself, as Jay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your approach on finances? How <laughs> how to communicate with partners? Where you guys finance was it has been the topic for us for in the past that has almost broken us so many times. Yeah. Oh yeah, like for us the main and don't think that finance is a small thing. My mom once told me that finance is a really huge aspect in of a relationship or in a marriage. That is one thing that can really, among other things, that is one of the key things that you really have to master with your partner. partner. That can really break you. Yeah. So what's your approach on finances? So finances, oof, 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 oof. Hey, approach on finances. Uh, once again, I, you guys have asked amazing questions. These are really great questions, which I also feel like finance is a whole video on its own. But we're going to say that before now, we had a lot of disagreements when it came to finances, especially after kids came in. Before kids, eh, we were bowling, guys, because G was working main job, I was working main job 100%. We were both working uh, neighbor jobs. We were swimming in cash. <laughs> kids came, my work, um, my work uh, at work reduced, meaning I was earning less. I needed more space. We needed more space, so we moved to a bigger apartment. Yeah. Uh, so as our expenses went up, the earnings went a bit low from my side so finding a balance was also like not easy i felt like i'm taking care of certain things uh, but or rather i was still taking care of the same things i was before and he was taking care of the like the bigger stuff like the apartment and stuff the the rent uh i felt like first of all i I didn't come to terms with the fact that I'm, I'm earning so less. It was, whoo, that one hit me hard. <laughs> My financial situation hit me hard when, when I became a mom. Um, but yeah, he was taking care of like the bigger stuff, like rent. I was taking care of the things I was taking care of before, but now with a smaller um, salary, salary. He, of course, like with time, his salary is going up a little. And I felt like it was life was just unfair to me as a mom. Uh, of course, it came at a time that it became too much on his side. So anyway, you just have what we did after counseling. Counseling in capital letters, guys. So we had to actually take a list, uh, list down everything that we pay for as a family there's like no do you do this and you do this which was what we used to do before so we calculate everything that we pay for as a family everything everything and then we look at his income we look at my income and then find okay how much we want to uh, we can we are able to save it was like this one. Yeah. Uh, first, you take both salaries, mine and yours, mm -hmm. plus the extra money, like the kids' money, which is coming every month. Yeah. Put them in one kind of pot. All income yeah. that comes and then, in and then in a month. You write down the, 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 the amount of expenditure, how much you ex you spend, mm -hmm. like the fixed bills. Yes. You write them down from one to to ten, to ten, you know, mm -hmm. and put them together. Mm -hmm. you, sub you subtract the sum from the main top, from the from the main pot. Mm -hmm. We have all this money coming inside, you know, mm -hmm. monthly. And then the money rem remaining, you, you have to like you know, deduct mm -hmm. your own kind of monthly money, the money like you like to use uh -huh. for your own self care, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to bless yourself, you want to spoil yourself with something, 
he, he put that money aside mm -hmm. and then the rest of the money which you have mm -hmm. after paying all these bills because there's many many bills to be paid oh, yeah. which they have to be paid uh, the, the money rem remaining is the money you could be able to be saving yeah. and even if you have that money to spoil yourself you have to use all, all that money at the same time they have mm -hmm. to say that all month I'm gonna spend my euros everything mm -hmm. you can try to like you know spend less so the remaining money put back in there in, in the savings, savings. Yeah. yeah that's how we do it uh, now so we had to be very open about our finances unlike before where he did his own thing i did his my own thing i paid what i paid for and he paid what he paid for because it was really not transparent he would um strain and he would get mad and i would strain on my own and also be able to do some stuff yeah. but we really weren't on the same page okay. at all, you know. So right now, toll, 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 everything is um, going as very well. And let me go, let me go back to the point to say that, you know, you know, there's something which maybe if we go to mention, is that, you know, the time we had our first child, we had to move to another town. It's like some few, yeah. few kilometers away from where we're working right now. Mm -hmm. So I had to like to do my main job. Mm -hmm. like drive in the morning to go to my job, then I go to do my side hustle. So that time, you, like you say, we have no family here. It's just you alone with the kid from morning until night. Mm -hmm. That's when I come back home from a whole day at work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So and that time, because now the, the baby had been crying a lot, yeah. I was pissed. Yeah. I was really pissed. <laughs> I couldn't wait to take my break. And he was also tired from working all day. Yeah. Like, it was tough. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, Nina Swali, but compliment Nina. You guys look good together. Couple girls. That's Hello. so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, where did you meet and how long have you been together? How we met, we've said we've been together since 2014. Ups and downs. Plus ups and downs. I think we have broken up. Um, I don't know how many times. A hundred times. No, you know? I don't say it's break up. You know. It is okay. Challenges, but also like when we like, uh, you know what? This this is not working. Yeah. Bye. Adios, amigos. Okay. How is it for you being a dad in a foreign country? Do you feel pressured? Hmm? So first of all, maybe you can first answer how that how is it for you being a dad in a foreign country? It's a wonderful thing. The fact that I'm I'm a, I'm a father to someone, mm -hmm. it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. um, being a dad in a foreign country, <laughs> what can I say about that? Uh, uh, because I don't have no experience of being a dad in my own country, I cannot try to compare the, the two situations. <laughs> to be honest, I cannot. I, I cannot compare the two sides. Of the story, you know, being a father in your own country and being a father in a foreign country. Mm -hmm. But what I can say is that, you know, being a father is a wonderful feeling, it's a wonderful responsibility, it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is still challenging. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you have to, to adjust. It takes a lot of adjustment. In my side, as myself, as a person, uh, how I treat. My woman for for the kids, as a, an example, you know, and also you know it, it makes it made me to wake up, you know, from my sleep. That, you know, I have to pave way for my kids to for, to, uh, to be a, a perfect example for them to to know which kind of direction maybe they like to take in their life, uh, how they treat people, uh, job wise. Like I told you before, you know, I, I do this my uh, qualification to become a psychiatric nurse. But for me, it's not the end of the road, you know. I want, I want to become something bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, so that my kids also see that, you know, they, they aim to be maybe even better than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is not an easy road, not an, mm -hmm. a walk in the park, mm -hmm. but it's a wonderful feeling, you know. And I thank God for that. Good answer. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can compare a little bit from the dads you know back home. Maybe <laughs> the lies to, they have to yeah. bring versus what you... You know, okay, growing up, 
of course you you had your dad yeah you know and now comparing yeah, you see yeah yeah you yeah. uh, being a father in, a f in this place German is that you know compared to maybe how dads how you saw dads growing up yeah, it's different it's mm -hmm. different yeah uh, being a father for me in this place it's just not being a father because of the name mm -hmm. Fafa, mm -hmm. Fafa. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, have, you have to put the action put the, the work in it you know and it starts mm, when the day you know you know that your lady is expecting or we are, we are expecting that's when you have to adjust yourself you know mm -hmm. and, and the kids uh, as a father, you also have to take actions in pertaining to the, the upbringing of your kids, you know. And mm, for me, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah. Because cause I, learn, I learn a lot, you know. And, 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 I, and I get a chance to experience my childhood back mm -hmm. again through my kids. Being a dad here in Germany means. How do you speak about being a dad? You're a dad. Jesus! I see it now. Are you, are you not next to me? I see it. I see dads here and I know how dads are. Okay, in my case, um, there's a point in time that our dad used to take care of us because mom was studying. <laughs> my, uh, there's, a, there's a time my mom was in the university furthering her studies while we were, like four of us were born. And so dad would stay home and, you know, care for us, literally. So I really do respect him for that because that's something that many men would not do back home you know that separates him from so many dads because dads where we come from it's like this figure of providence you know they provide and also they offer that security feeling you know but at you know changing diapers knowing sidri doctor's appointment dates taking kids to the playground taking actually the moms to you know doctors appointments to the clinic appointments and also to give birth those are not really really the things that our dads at that time would really do so being a dad here means you're going to be all that and more you know and it's something that's normal it's it's not like oh my god that's amazing no it's very normal <laughs> It's actually something that is, it belongs to um, Altag. What's Altag? Day to day life. Yeah. Routine. Yeah, yeah. literally. Yeah. It's part of you being a father in this place because that's how things are. No, I just learned not to be selfish, you know. Not to be selfish. Uh, no matter how tired you are, there's someone who is more tired than you, you know. Hey! Huh. So you have, to, you have to, to come through and try to play your part as well, you know. Pre Cause that me, I'm, I came from work, I'm tired. I hate that, yeah? you know. No, no, there's nothing, there's no, may I say, the job which you're doing is this is the second job. The first job is your family back home, mm -hmm. yeah, and your kids, and your woman. <laughs> yeah. How did you end up in Germany? Oh. Yeah. It's a long story, you know. Long story, guys. But I came to Germany in 2008. In July, mm -hmm. June, July, yeah, July. Maybe one day when you're ready, yeah, when you're, I'm going, ready. you're yeah. going to share. Are you homesick? Me. Yeah. Well, every time in December, I'm homesick. In December only. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm homesick yeah. all day. December every day. And, and when when this special Islamic, you know, celebrations, you know, or when there's a big wedding happening back home, mm -hmm. and I'm missing out. It's when I get homesick, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I learned to, to like embrace the situation. Soon. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, how did you meet? How did you meet? Oh my God, how many, how did you meet questions did we get? A lot. All right, so, uh, a few more. When are you doing another Swahili dish? Jay has actually done a biryani recipe before on my channel, which I'm going to link in the description bar. You need to watch that, guys. If you haven't, I know many of you have watched, but if you haven't, I'm going to still link it for you guys to watch. Yeah. So, when? Soon, 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 soon. Maybe, maybe I can try to make one in the next few days, you know. What would you like to make? I don't know what people like to, to have. Comment down below what you guys want Jay to make. Mm -hmm. Any Swahili dish that you wish for Jay to make, 
let us know in the comment section all right if you guys moved out of munich which other city would you live in personally augsburg i would, I would love to live i am quite flexible me, me, honestly yeah augsburg I've, I've lived in augsburg you know i do like augsburg it's yeah. a vibe yeah i know you love you like you like, you like augsburg but you know for me not living munich it's living bayern would you yeah. like to leave Bayern, you know, to, to leave, leave Bayern, to okay. leave this place, this Bavaria, to leave it, you know, go somewhere else, another state, you know. Mm -hmm. That is my dream, and most probably, you know, I think of going somewhere, not very far from Bayern, but uh, where you have a good kind of family and social life. Okay, so where? Yeah, I've been checking out places, you know. Like? Like a place near Kasue, Rastatt. Really? Baden Baden, yeah, yeah. Baden Baden, I've heard you say that yeah. a lot. Yeah, it's, it's a safe area, you know. Yeah, that's the place which I like to, to live. And why? Uh, because if you compare the price of the homes yeah. and the apartments, it's quite affordable. affordable. Yeah. We live in, I think, the most expensive city or... This is what we think, it is the most expensive city in Germany. In the, yeah, it is yeah, crazy. It is, yeah. Yeah. Wow! Okay, how many cities in Germany have you both visited and which one would you repeat? Mm. Hey. Uh, Augsburg, Nürnberg, Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Frankfurt, Hamburg, Düsseldorf. Have you been there? You've been, been there. there. Düsseldorf, Köln, Köln, Bielefeld. Haven't been there. I haven't really been in the north, like Bremen, I don't know what, 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 yeah, quite Berlin. I've been to Berlin. I've been to Berlin. Yeah. But which I like to, to, to repeat. Of course, I like to repeat Hamburg. Me too. I like to repeat. Uh, I will repeat Augsburg every day. <laughs> Any it's, day. It's not far from here. Yeah. It's like an hour and a half drive. Yeah. Baden Baden. I like to repeat that. I've not been there. I would love to. Yeah, go there and one me. city at Costanz. Yeah, we've been there. Yeah, that ah, was beautiful. Ah, Man. I like the place. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the, the water and all that Mm -hmm. I love that place, yeah. yeah. I'm sure there are se several others we're forgetting, but yeah. Do you plan a future in Germany or will you go back to 254 at some point? We plan our present in Germany and we hope for a future back home. I think that sub sums it up. What do you think? You know, for me, I cannot speak about my future in Germany, my, my future in Kenya, because I have kids. Yeah, I will go, I will sleep where my kids are. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a fact, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there is no way to say that we are planning our future somewhere and somewhere, you know. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like that, you know. What do you mean, babe? I mean that, you know, where your kids call home. Yeah. That's the place you live. Yeah, that's the present. What that's about the, the future? Present. Because when the kids grow up... Yeah, but what, 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 which year is that? How many years? It's a long... It's uh -huh. many years, but, but it's still the future. Okay, for, for now, I say I plan my life here. Mm -hmm. I go, I do, my, I do my work here. And I plan to have a beautiful environment for my family in Germany. Uh, what, what, what tomorrow is going to bring? If I'm going to go back to Kenya or something like that, I don't know. It is still open. We go to Kenya every, every time and then. But it's still open, you know? Yeah. It is still our home. But it's now our home is here, you know. True. Because here is where our kids are they're, they're born and that's what, that was the, what our kids know. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you do to avoid being roommates? Because where? Yeah, it's a struggle. But like I said, be intentional uh, and create the time. Go and do things that you used to do. Try and make time to do things that you used to do. Or rather, things that you both find fun or things that remind you of the time you were just the two of you because why not yeah stuff like that uh, stop 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 being in this kind of uh feeling of wanting to function want to function every time functioning functioning if we sit down after eating or the kids are sleeping put the kids topics aside ask your partner how how are you doing today you know Try to find out how your partner is feeling, you know. Stop this functioning, function, functioning. The kids are sleeping and you start talking about, yeah, what tomorrow I'm going to do tomorrow? What tomorrow is this child is going to wear? What to, no, 
for people the, the kids are sleeping and now it's time for you to catch up with how, how your partner is doing what he's planning how his day was yeah try to you know try to joke around fool around you know play yeah. games play games yeah play dares not to level functioning it's boring uh -huh. How do you guys handle finances? We've told you uh, who pays what or do you guys have a joint account? Um, we had a joint account that did not function at that particular time because of the reasons I told you guys. We had a problem adapting to parenthood and finances. Um, so what we do at the moment is we... So this is what I'm getting, this is what he's getting. Do we stay the girung? I am the one who takes care of that everything is paid because Jay is very busy. Sometimes he would oversee some things. Mm -hmm. So I get the money from him, pay every, he saves what he saves and he has his money also. I pay for everything with part of my earning and part of his earning. And then I, um, I also take care of the main savings. As much in as much as he also has uh, part of his savings of my bills to pay and his and some of his bills to pay yeah. but you have like three bills to pay three those bills. ones you cannot oversee my friend I don't oversee nothing. <laughs> how did you meet we've said challenges oh, oh, oh this is a this is a good one but i feel like it's a whole topic also what challenges do you face because of different religion we, so we have we do you know i have like sev several followers mm -hmm. that are in a relationship that is like almost exactly or rather exactly like ours okay yeah different religions but um functioning amazingly have a family even married stuff like that yeah so, any f uh, challenges we face? Challenges we face? At, we, the, at, at the beginning, there was some kind of... Friction? Uh, I call it uncertainties. You know, not being sure of all oh, these things. You go walk, you not go walk. Yeah. On your part? No, you know, you know I, even, I even spoke with you about all this. You know, yeah. I remember even when you were down in the train, okay. from town, coming back to where we live. I asked like, okay, what happened when we have a kid, you know, what, how, how, how is that kid going to be brought up in which kind of uh, belief, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of question. Mm -hmm. That was the only thing which was worrying me and also the, okay, uh, how people back home think, you know, yeah, mm -hmm. that is the only thing. I think that was the biggest challenge. Yeah, that was the biggest challenge. That was the biggest challenge. And part of it, part of partly it's still a problem because there are some family members who are still curious whether one of us let me just be frank if i am going to change my religion from uh, christianity to muslim mm. which is not the case mm. has never been a topic he has never expected me to change my religion he knows that i i'm i'm not intending to change my religion and I obviously don't expect him to change his own. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I am. We do face challenges, like I said. Uh, you know, with family sometimes. Uh, as as for my family, that is a non-issue. Uh, at the beginning, it was like, oh my God! So, how does this work? Um, and if it's going to function, if this and that, like obviously uncertainties, like Jay said, but it's a non issue. Like they know Jay, they love him. Um, and I love them too. I know. Mm -hmm. And um, a part of Jay's, Jay has a huge family. Like I also do. Yeah, I also do. Um, and part of like maybe like uncle somewhere you know or auntie is curious if Martha will ever want to be a Muslim no that is for mother to decide that's for me to decide and we are fine as we are as for the kids um, we I think we just teach them the values if I want to go to church I am okay to go to church with them and if Jay wants to take them to pray, he can take them to pray. 
and then he can de they will decide on their own where they stand as they grow no complications yeah i need a second i need a second source of income in germany taking a neben job as a flaky craft is too much because i already have crazy shifts i think i'm going to ask this in my in my instagram stories you know for people to give like their different opinions on that do you have an idea like neighbor job taking a neighbor job is too much but you job. need a second source of income then there's another way you know there is investing in property too much people can invest in property can buy an apartment somewhere and rent it out that's income yeah but also do you think that might invest right yeah you're you, you're going to take a loan mm -hmm. you're going to invest you're mm -hmm. going to yeah that's a source of income it is a source of it income is. but also this work it need, it, yeah and but it's maybe it needs capital it needs capital it needs work yeah. it needs some work yeah and maybe, maybe the, the point is that you said to say what you know maybe you start to say that you know to to, to do a neighbor job uh some kind of side hustle in the same branch where you're working is kind of hard you know ah i see maybe maybe she can try to do something different apart from her work in her normal job yeah yeah which there are many many options you know but you know the, the thing is that you know they pay differently you know they fit i think yeah. uh, one of the well-paying ones at flager craft yeah because you have this kind of standard payment you know mm. and all these other jobs because you have no any kind of qualification in that kind of branch so they're yeah. gonna pay you peanuts you know so yeah. at the end of the day, you're going to be, to, to be working, working yourself a lot, yeah. and getting peanuts. Yeah. Uh, investment ideas in Kenya, property, land. Yeah. Koyo. What? Koyo. Uh, farming, obviously. <laughs> Koyo. <laughs> <laughs> you go finish uh, me, eh? Uh, the best thing, uh, story, uh, yeah. Ruth has done a video on how to invest in like avocado farming when while you're abroad you can watch that it's video. farming it's farming yeah. yeah farming yeah yeah investing back home is good but one thing you have to have is a very very firm understanding of the environment back home mm -hmm. because of the, this, this inflation of money you know things are getting so mm -hmm. much expensive even building back home it has become so expensive mm -hmm. and also you have to have someone who really you can trust yeah. yeah just not saying i'm going to invest back home can this money go my friend you will cry in the toilet <laughs> oh, kareri, mm. you don't want me to talk eh? <laughs> no 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 this the video is extremely long by now 20 minutes plus the other 20 something okay. so your investment in kenya are under whose name legally i think this person is trying to put us in jail <laughs> This one we're going to answer not now. We've answered all, everything actually. Yeah. Wow. So, um, under whose name uh, any investment is in Kenya is, I think, uh, quite private. So, in case we're going to do any investment videos in, in future, we might mention there. But that's uh, everybody's de decision how they do their things so thank you so much guys for the questions and for you taking your time to listen to us yeah i had fun yeah it was fun yeah well, but let's time, please more questions you know these questions huh? are very easy you know uh, uh. <laughs> they should ask deeper questions they should ask questions now let me, let me. they were good they were not bad just kidding yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys um, it was wonderful thank you yes subscribe down below if you are new to my channel uh, like this video and share and i'm going to see you guys on my next video in case you have any more uh, any more video requests with jay then definitely list down below bye ciao ciao